We're going to cover a dynamic optimization problem of motion. This is attributed to the author Ali, and uh, he posed that the integral sum of the squared errors of the velocity, in this case x2, and position x1 are going to be minimized. Okay, so this is how we uh, write that objective function. We have the velocity squared and then also the position squared. We're going to integrate that from 0 to 5 and uh, and then uh, we have below the equations of motion right here where u is going to be the acceleration okay and then this is going to be the velocity and then we have the velocity here and that is the position okay so these are the basic equations of motion but just it with different symbols okay, with x's and u's Okay, and then we have some initial conditions. We have that um, the initial position is going to be equal to zero and the initial velocity is going to be equal to one. And we can adjust the acceleration between one and negative one. Okay, so those are our bounds on how fast we can accelerate in one direction or the other. So we need to find the optimal sequence of acceleration moves. We're going to try to minimize the square uh, integral of the position and the velocity. Okay, so if you think about this, the object is going in one direction. Okay, this is going to be position uh, x1 uh, equals 0 and x2, that's the velocity, it's going to be uh, going to the uh, uh, positive direction uh, initially and what we want to do is apply acceleration to this object okay so that over time it uh, might come up and then back to uh, zero okay so uh, we want to um, at the end if we can get both of these to zero then that will give us the lowest square integral of the of the sum of those two okay so let's go ahead and set this up as an optimization problem um, okay so we have our uh, definition there what we're going to do now is just go ahead and build a, a model um, and have some parameters uh, I'm going to have a parameter P that's just going to um, I'll, I'll show that to you in just a little bit about what we're going to do with the parameter P uh, we have this uh, acceleration u between uh, negative 1 and 1 uh, with, uh, I just give it an initial guess value of 0, but we'll have the optimizer uh, do that for us. Okay, and then we have variables and uh, we have the, um, in this case the position is going to be initially equal to 0 and the velocity is going to be initially equal to 1. And then we also have an objective function. Okay, now in, in AP Monitor there's just a couple uh, key words uh, that um, we got to be careful about. Uh, one is um, starting uh, variable declarations with OBJ, INT, or SLK. Okay, so if you start something with OBJ, like let's say you have um, a variable named objective, it's going to automatically include it into the objective function. So we're going to change that. We're going to put my OBJ. So there, therefore, we don't automatically include it into the objective function. We're going to select which point we're going to include in the objective function. And that's just going to be the very last point. If you name something starting with INT, then it becomes an integer variable. Um, and then it can be something like 0, 1, 2. Okay, but it can't be something like 0, 1.5. It's got to be an integer. And then if you have something as a slack variable, um, then uh, we automatically set a lower bound equal to uh, zero. Okay, so uh, just avoid those keywords or those uh, starting uh, sequences for variables unless um, it's absolutely, you know, unless that's intent, uh, that's um, what you intended to do. Okay, so we have my OBJ. Um, equations we're going to minimize p times my obj so that uh, parameter p we're going to find that to be zero everywhere except um, except at the very last point because that's where we're going to compute our integral and then uh, we're going to differentiate um, 
this objective function right here because we have, can't put integrals into the AP Monitor modeling language. But we're going to um, define this as uh, my um, my OB uh, objective function is going to be the integral 0 to 5 1 half x1 squared plus x2 squared uh, dt. Okay, and then what we're going to do to include this in our differential equation is we'll just differentiate this with uh, respect to time. Okay, so we're going to have uh, the differential of my objective is going to be 1 half and then that's going to be equal to x1 squared plus x2 squared. Okay, and then if we include this equation in our model, then at the very end point, okay, at uh, the end, then it's going to be equal to the integral between 0 and 5. Okay, so we're going to come back into our model and we'll just include that uh, differential. Okay, and then we have x1, uh, differential with respect to time is equal to x2, and then differential of velocity with respect to time, x2 is equal to acceleration. Okay, so there's our model right there. Uh, we're going to also set up a data file. So these are the points that we want to solve this at. We're going to have a time column and just put zero. I'm going to give it a time uh, step just uh, really fast initially so I can make a decision on uh, what the acceleration should be. Okay, and then we're going to go all the way down to 4.95 and then 5. Okay, now we're going to do also our uh, p parameter. That's going to be zero everywhere, except at the very last point, it's going to be equal to one. Okay, and let's go ahead and um, we're going to now go ahead and create a MATLAB or a Python script now that we have a data file and a model file. So the data file is going to be um, our CSV file, comma separated value file, and our model file is the APM file. So now let's go ahead and create this in MATLAB um, and Python. Python's on the left. I'm going to specify a server and application name. Okay, and then I'm going to import the APM uh, library. Very similar in MATLAB. I'm just going to clear, close, and clear screen. Clear all variables, close all plots, clear screen, server, application name, and then add path to the APM folder. I'll show you where you can download this at the end of the video. Uh, the APM, uh, we're going to give it the clear all command and then load the model and load the data file. And same thing over here in the MATLAB. Um, clear all, load the model file, load the data file. Okay, um, we're going to set a couple options here. Um, we're going to make the number of collocation nodes equal to 6. Uh, the solver will set that. By default, it's 1. That's the AP opt solver. It's an active set solver. I mode is equal to 6, which is dynamic optimization. I've had a couple questions about that, so let me just show you the uh, link for that. If you just search for something like AP Monitor I mode, it should come up with uh, modes of operation, and you can see a little bit more documentation about um, I mode there, okay? Um, and the different options uh, that you set it to. So this one's going to be equal to 6 or nonlinear dynamic control and um, it tells you a little bit more about how to set those. Okay, so um, there we have, uh, okay, so Python, we're gonna set up a new manipulated variable. Um, this is our U value and turn its status on. So U is right now, the acceleration is equal to a parameter. Okay, and so um, what that does is effectively it moves it down into the variable section, kind of like this. Um, but we control that through the script when we turn status on. And we also set a slight D cost, that's a delta cost of moving the U value that can be important for these singular control problems. Okay, the final thing we're going to do is just solve it. Um, and same thing here in MATLAB and then go ahead and solve it. Okay, so we've solved it and then we put the output of the solver into a new variable called output and then we're going to print that and display it. Okay, if you are in uh, Python, you know, higher versions of Python, uh, 3.5 and above, go ahead and just put the parentheses there. Okay, for 2.7 it's optional. Um, we're going to retrieve the solution and then just print the optimal solution. Okay, so that's just going to be a um, 
you know this uh, my objective at the very last point or in MATLAB it's um, at the very end okay and then um, we're just gonna plot the results now figure one we're just gonna plot x1 x2 and the acceleration and then put on a legend and a couple labels and then show the plot and in the MATLAB will do the same thing just create a plot with all of these things on it okay so I'm gonna come back here and um, let me go ahead and just save this and go ahead and close this out and I'll go ahead and save it as make sure you save it as a comma uh, delimited file okay so uh, it's gonna be kind of hard to find sometimes but make sure you do uh, comma delimited right there okay and then max make sure you do it as the DOS version um, okay so I'm gonna close that out and then let's go ahead and open up um, this problem uh, now if you want to download it uh, go ahead and come to uh, the dynamic optimization uh, website and then just come over here to more benchmarks and then this should be the second problem uh, right here the alley singular control solution in MATLAB and Python okay so go ahead and just download that and then uh, if you open it up you'll have all of these files that we're working with right here Okay, so I'm going to open this up in. Um, I'm going to open it up with IDLE. You can use Spider. You can use um, IPython. Okay, and then uh, go ahead and run it. Um, okay, so it's going to send the model and the data file to the server, and then uh, you know configure it. It took about three or four seconds to solve, um, and there you can see. Uh, the solution so initially the position was at zero but because we had a initial velocity of one okay, the velocity is decreasing until it gets to about negative 0.4 and then it's going to start um, increasing so we had a negative one on the acceleration so a slope of negative one on the velocity until it went negative okay our final position has to be equal to zero so uh, the the position it went forward and then back and then you can see it coast into zero right there so this is the optimal solution right here for the um, acceleration and the position and the velocity okay I'm gonna go ahead and kill the uh, Python one let me go ahead and open up the MATLAB one as well just go ahead and show that um, okay so when MATLAB comes up then um, I'll show you this running in MATLAB as well. Um, you'll see uh, all the results at the command window. Okay, so when I run this, uh, click F5 or the green button, the run green button, then um, it's going to then do the same thing. We should get the same exact results both ways. Okay, we sent the same model and the data file, and it should um, give us uh, about uh, exactly the same solution there. Okay, so you see the, the acceleration, again, it went uh, right to negative one. The velocity starts trending down, the position goes forward, and then back. We're minimizing the square, the sum of the square of these two variables, the position and the velocity. Okay, so that uh, concludes um, this tutorial. Um, you know, there's other optimal control problems that I'll post here with along with the videos and the references to those. Uh, but each one of these should take, um, you know, if you're just starting from scratch, should take about uh, 30 minutes in time.